Okay, so I did a video the other day uh, on this cluster case from 52Pi and it is excellent and uh, it is my, my main case. I absolutely love it. Fits my SSD, fits my hard drive and uh, it's definitely keeping it cool. And I just uh, having access to the SD card in the back is brilliant and, uh, and I really like it. They also sent me another case, which is this armor case. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is put my Pi in that. It's currently in this one. Uh, and this is my DeSalvo solid aluminum case. But I'm okay to take it out of this because uh, DeSalvo Systems are sending me another newer updated case. So that'll be here soon. So let's take this out of here and pop it in this. I'll just show you what bits come in this. So instructions, uh, four screws, some heat pads. This is the top, and you can see that it's got the, the fan connection, two fans, uh, and the aluminium is designed to touch, I guess it's the CPU and the GPU, uh, to uh, take heat from that, but also the fans are there to cool it as well. So with the DeSalvo system, uh, there is no fans. It's, it's a, a silent case but this has two small fans. It'll be interesting to see how much noise they make. Uh, because there's two, maybe it runs at a lower voltage. Uh, so this is the base. So let's take this out. This has just got four Allen key bolts. So lift that lid off. Got a bit of a stick to it. Oh, you can see the CPU paste was, was nicely connected in there. So I need to wipe that off because this isn't using CPU paste, this is using pads. So most of it's come off, but I'm just gonna put a bit of isopropyl on a cotton wool bud just to get rid of every little bit. Isopropyl is good because it evaporates very quickly, so it's not leaving anything behind. Make sure you pull off the clear bit from either side. It's not actually very sticky, so it doesn't matter if you don't plonk it on straight, first of all, you can, you can move it around. It's, uh, it's gonna come off very easily if you need to take it off. There's a raised bit here, um, but it doesn't actually come into contact with anything. I thought it might need a sticker on that, but it's, it's just circuit board on there. So let's pop that on there. And then we just put this bit on the top. So you can see here, that's the raised bit. That's the bit that's gonna come into contact with these. And then that's gonna dissipate the heat up into the aluminium, which then the fans use to cool. So I need to flip that upside down and just basically screw into these four screws. And it's Allen key bolts and it comes with an Allen key. Okay, so the cable goes red on the outside, one pin in. Hard to see from behind the camera, but you can see there, that's how it shows it in the picture. Red on the outside, black on the inside. And then I guess you just, oh yeah, it bends, so it bends down and stays, stays in place. It's a nice uh, pliable cable. So you can see the GPIO pins are accessible. You can see the SD card slot is there. I need to try putting an SD card in. Oh yeah, so putting an SD card in is fine. You can see it slightly protrudes. So I can get it out as well because I can put my nail in there. So SD card is nice and accessible. USB-C, HDMI sockets, audio socket are all proud so they're easy to get a hold of. And obviously these are all completely exposed. So I just need to boot it up and leave it on for a while and see how much it heats up and also see how much noise it makes. Probably need to clear a bit of space. I've been working on this with the screen and all sorts of things recently. So yeah, let's make this a bit tidier. Okay, so I can plug in now. There you go, so you can still see the lights on the side of the Pi for disc access, which is nice to be able to see. It's actually very quiet. So if I get my microphone close to it, so you can see I'm pretty close there. That was the microphone I was talking through. So that's nice to hear. So what I'm gonna do now is switch over to screen capture. Okay, so let's just change the resolution. I've been playing around with screens uh, because I've got that uh, five inch screen that has been in one of my recent videos. So let's change it to 1080. There you go, that looks a lot nicer. Uh, so I also wanna check 
what I'm overclocked to. So, and I don't usually overclock in this way, but uh, for the purpose of this, it's already in the pie. Yeah, there's nothing there at all at the moment. So let's paste that in. There you go, so you can see over voltage of six, uh, arm frequency 2147 and GPU frequency of 750. Because this is my Pi 4, four gig, uh, it only needs an over voltage of six. The eight gig one for me needs an over voltage of eight. So let's control O and enter to save that and then control X to exit. And let's just do Neo fetch to see so at the moment, 1.5 gigahertz, so I need to reboot. Okay, so now we can try NeoFetch. Well, I have no mouse. Okay, so that was interesting. So I rebooted with the, uh, the settings that I had, uh, over voltage of six, and uh, it didn't work. The, it booted up, uh, and uh, well, it booted up into a black screen first of all, and then I rebooted it. This is nothing to do with the case, by the way. Uh, I rebooted it and I didn't have any keyboard. So I've increased the over voltage to eight. So let's just show you that it's now running at. So it says 2.294. For some reason, the Pi misreports it uh, in newer kernels, but uh, it is 2147. Uh, and so if I go to my boot folder, config dot, oh, wrong one. That's not the config.txt I want. I want that one. And you can see that I've changed it to over voltage equals eight. Now I suspect this is to do with uh, the two fans plugged into the five volt pins. Um, obviously it depends how much you're overclocking. It depends on your individual Pi. Not all Pi's overclock in the same way, but uh, I could have probably got away with over voltage of seven, but I've done eight because if I end up using this memory card in my eight gig Pi, then I know it'll work as well. And an over voltage, when you go up from six to seven or seven to eight, it's only an increase of 0 0.05 volts. So it's not a big increase in voltage. It's having that extra power to be able to use the fans, I guess. So anyway, this is working. So the good thing about NeoFetch is it tells you how long you've had it switched on. So in my case, 45 seconds, but if I do it again, you'll see uh, two minutes. So what I'm gonna do is play a 1080 video and just leave it on. Uh, it is nice and quiet, by the way. Uh, it's right in front of me and it's not making a lot of noise at all. And I did see in the instructions, it says uh, dual fan stability to the design. The noise of the double fan is reduced so that the armor case not only protects your pie well, but also dissipates heat in time to ensure the normal operation of the system. Let's click on YouTube. And I'll go for my longest video. Here you go, this one here. Uh, so this was a year ago. Uh, it's an hour and a half. So let's just let it play and, uh, and see what happens. Great. Pop it in 1080. Sports live coverage of FIFA. Okay, so I'll leave that playing. Okay, so still working fine. Uh, what we're looking at now, so I've just refreshed it. So it's had two hours of uptime. Uh, let's just refresh that again. Yeah, so it still says two hours. Um, I, uh, I restarted the video a few times um, just because I didn't want it to run out. I didn't want to forget it and for it to run out and have any time idle. But yeah, that is working perfectly well. So let's quit out of that. Now, did I have... Yeah, let's do a little bit of uh, Super Mario. It's me, Mario. And see if that makes any difference to the temperature. I'll leave it in this screen so we can all the time see the temperature monitor. Just plug in my controller. Yeah, you can see that that's running fine and it's not, the temperature's not going up any. It's actually cooler than when it was using the video. Let's skip past all this. Yeah, so uh, in fact, it actually is cooling down now it's playing Mario, uh, so it's obviously not putting much strain on it. So yeah, I'm pleased with that. I like the look of the case, I like the accessibility, uh, I like the fact that it's got the two fans. Uh, it is pretty quiet, it's certainly a lot quieter than the cheap 
I've reviewed a couple of cheap Amazon fan cases and uh, they have been a bit whiny, a bit noisy. The Pimeroni fan shim is quieter, um, but, uh, but obviously this comes with the case, the aluminium heat sinks, the pads uh, and the fan, all for that price. So yeah, I think it's pretty decent. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.